If there is one thing in life you can count on, it's that nothing ever stays the same. And I have spent eight years building up the amount of technology in this room, my studio, this house, etc, etc. And that eight years is coming to an end, which means it's time for me to move. And yes, all this stuff that I somehow managed to cram in here, in some way, all of this stuff is certainly coming with me, minus, you know, the bed, minus the dresser back here, but you know, the important stuff. Hopefully, I'll be able to document most of this process as I break down, like, all this stuff, all these game consoles, all these wires, everything, all this stuff here in the armoire, wrestling games, you know, my stuff. I'm gonna take it all, I'm gonna move it, and hopefully we are in a better position once that process is complete. We'll see. But I'm gonna bring you guys along for a somewhat arduous ride as my life undergoes a change once again. Before I lived here, I used to move like every year and a half. There was always some kind of a weird circumstance where I had to move yet again. So it's been nice to be in one spot for so long. But again, change is inevitable and all this stuff all these monitors, all this stuff has got to get moved, and boy oh boy, that's going to be a process. And here we have the empty room in which I will attempt to cram all of my great volume of things into. It is a bit smaller than the one I had, so it's going to take a bit of finagling as such, but I think I'll manage to make it work somehow, some way. I'm going to put the TV on the wall gonna cram in all a bunch of video games, here is a twin bed, and there is the modem that brings me the fast internet, and that's pretty much, that's all we got in here at the moment, and a much tinier closet, which is, again, gonna be full of just random stuff, but I'll make it work. The first step in moving my stuff involves this ridiculous closet and the volume of boxes contained within this closet that need to move around. So we got the mini consoles, we got various versions of the Nintendo DS, four of them in fact, 3DS, all that. We have an entire box of just wrestling games. All that's in here is wrestling games and nothing else but wrestling games, YouTube, what have you done to me? This drawer right here, I used to buy special editions. Uh, fairly often, right? So I got special editions, I got old games, I got all of the boxes that come with all the extra trinkets in them, things of that nature. All my DS games are in here. Stuff. I have a lot of stuff. Jurassic Park wrestling games and fight sticks? I knew one day my habit of keeping all the boxes was gonna bite me in the ass, and that day seems to be today. But here we are. At a certain point, you do have to wonder just how much extraneous stuff is too much, and perhaps I've hit too much. This is only a fraction of what I've got from one room to another, so I've got obviously a whole like bunch of games and a TV and things that need to go in here. This is the first like two loads of stuff, and I put more stuff over here and in the closet, and uh, yeah, man. So when you buy games from Gamefly, you end up keeping the stuff that the game came in, so after a lot of years, I have a lot of these because I buy games from Gamefly. This is way cheaper than buying them at retail. When transporting a large volume of video games, it is important to remember, safety first. They ain't going nowhere. That should be fine, right? I think that I might own a lot of video games. You guys, it's a little bit... Ridiculous, but you know what I say. I say play more video games in 2020. We're getting there. It's getting closer. I got my consoles. Not all of them, but you know, most of them. Just had to get things off the floor for the moment, but this hurts my soul in that nothing is organized and there is still just a giant pile of stuff over here. So about when you've hit the 98% mark on this whole thing is when you begin to question what in the blue hell are you doing with your life but I'm still the desk is tomorrow and the TV is the day after that 
and then I gotta organize like all of this and that's gonna be longer than a couple days I can assure you and the desk has been deconstructed so now it's a matter of loading it up into the car and getting it over to the other house and man I'm tired the main battle station has been reconstructed successfully fantastically and this is all well and good except for the fact that when you turn around behind where that is you have all of this oh good god this might take a while mission one is accomplished missions two through 1000 not so much some progress has been made i have lifted the bed for space underneath that is not final but you know is what it is and over here the tv needs to go on that wall so i can move the games over to that wall there's right now a lot of stuff in the closet that needs to be dealt with it's a work in progress the chair is here that's not going to stay there for that tv but hey we're getting there the, the ps4 is hooked up so making some pretty good progress racing wheel green screen etc etc well the power's been out for a good three hours now so i've made some progress hooking up game consoles and game consoles and even more game consoles i still gotta get the power line checked so this is still kind of a mess over here and you know we're taking shape a little bit we've got the green screen that's gonna go fantastic uh, this is still obviously not in the right spot but you can see the pile here is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and eventually that goes there and that goes there what do we got over here birds 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 hi there tv is on the wall moment of truth did i measure it properly and will this thing fit underneath six hours later still no power but now we are alphabetized and completely full on this shelf in fact it is so full that there is no room for my psp and vita games and these two things over here those are whatever but yes gotta put a spot for those somewhere and it's not gonna fit in the box where i put all of my ds and 3ds so i'll figure something out so the power's been out here for about 24 hours now i went back to the old house charged the phone up very important obviously i got this all done pretty much in the dark and alphabetized getting my studio lights set up as you can see but i can't test them because the power is still down and this is the longest it's been without power in this house since probably superstorm sandy so of course on the week that i move that's the week it happens because that is my luck and my life but i'm still doing it i'm still here i'm not done yet i want to get back to work so we're still trying to make it work one more day gone by and a little bit more progress and i did get the hdmi not the prettiest solution but look it got there and it gets the job done. I'm sure at some point I'll clean it up to get back here to do all of this. But yes, it does work for now. This weekend, the plan is to get my shelving unit right in here. And so all these game consoles can go into here. Now in terms of this TV, I don't know yet. I'll figure that out when I get there. I own one piece of furniture, so I call the one friend I have I know who has a truck. What's a truck? Today is saturday as i filmed this and it's been pretty much look at this hair look at that i need a haircut it has been pretty much a solid week of making this happen and as i spin around here you can see oh look a lot of video game consoles are behind me oh look the bright lights the air conditioner the tv on the wall the video games and the pc that makes all of the videos happen the racing wheel everything is here it's like smash bros all your favorites are here i'm not done i'm getting very close the major pieces are all now in place 
but the fine tuning will take you probably weeks to get everything where it needs to be. None of these things here have any wires attached to them right now. This TV is just kind of, and those two TVs are kind of just, you know, ch chilling at the moment, but it's ever so closer. The bed is clear. I can pretty much, you know, wash the sheets and sleep here now. I'm that close. My clothes are gonna go in over there, not quite ready yet, but hey, moving is arduous and it's almost done. I am almost set to record videos once again, one more time for all you here on YouTube. And so to wrap things up in this moving vlog, I am nowhere near being done. I spent the past week actually getting videos done here for the channel. But in terms of the fine-tuning, there is so much, just so much fine-tuning that needs to be done that it would still, again, take me weeks to get done. And I don't want to spend weeks to put up this video when I'm already here and I've already moved. So we're going to wrap things up and perhaps when I actually get things the way that I like them, definitely more soundproofing. The echo in here is driving me absolutely insane, so get that done in the next couple of weeks and then maybe I'll do a room tour officially. But for right now, I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos. I'm still here. I'm still doing them. You can't stop me. And I'm out.